How bad did they look? That was bad. I, I mean, I, they looked bad in in London versus the Giants. That was about as bad of, of a performance as you could get. I mean, special teams they on got down. Totally outplayed. Completely outplayed. I mean, you have a punt blocked for a touchdown. I believe they had a field goal blocked, too, at one point in time. And their defense, which they spent two first-round draft picks, right, on a defensive tackle and a linebacker. And they might have the worst run defense in the league, which coming into this game, that, yeah. that was going to be the matchup. And, Aaron, and, and I'll just say this. Aaron Rodgers looks like a shell of himself. And I know Christian Watson was out with the hamstring, and they've had issues with the wide receiver position. Like, you could make the case that not that Devontae Adams, the addition to the Raiders, has, has helped out that, that much there. But, man, they miss him in the worst way in Green Bay. But something's off about Rodgers. He, he just – he looks so apathetic out there. Like, he just doesn't care what the outcome of the game is. And I do wonder – like, I'm going to pose this question. When Mike McCarthy was there, he'd always talk about grit and all this other stuff. And, and I know there was, like, some times, I'm sure, where, you know, Aaron Rodgers and Mike McCarthy didn't get along. But I think part of that was because Mike McCarthy probably would, would put pressure on Aaron or would say things to Aaron. And then you get this new regime there. And they go draft Jordan Love. And until this most recent contract, we're like, look, once they gave him that contract, it was over. I, I don't know what's in store for Jordan Love after this, but the reality is unless Rodgers retires, like, you know, he's, you know, he's the guy there in Green Bay. And there's also this sense of, like, comfort that comes with that. Maybe they were all right, man. Like, maybe he's, he, he lacks that motivation and that pressure and, and that sense of urgency, if you will, that they need right now, that he, he needs right now to play the way he has the past two years as the back-to-back MVP. Like, I, I'm, I'm spitballing here because the Packers look awful, mm. absolutely awful the past two weeks. Can I throw uh, something out there? All right. Again, you can call it a conspiracy theory if you want, but I'm, I'm just going to throw this out. All right. Now, I want to preface this by saying, what the hell do I know? I've never even had a Vicodin. All right. I've never smoked oh. weed. I've never had a cigar, a cigarette. I'm just throwing this out there. One of the things that I've heard about, you know, ayahuasca or whatever the hell this stuff is called, this uh, this this hippie weed or this this, this, this hippie yeah, this dirt drug or whatever it is. <laughs> the left hand is cigarettes. Yeah, wh- whatever yeah. whatever this thing is. One of the things that I've heard is that once you go on your quote unquote trip. You never come back. Well, when you come back, <laughs> you, you come don't, back a different person. Yeah, you don't you don't view things that you thought were important before as important now because you've gotten this new perspective and you've learned something new about yourself. And I've heard that it takes a little bit of the edge off that you normally had. And so I just wonder if in his ventures to go to this all you know alternate universe or whatever the hell it is that he was doing when he was you know hitting this uh this this hippie drug or whatever it's called if maybe that just sort of changed the level of importance that football has and maybe he's just a little bit more like yeah you know what just want to go have some fun try and be a great teammate and whatever happens, happens, as opposed to the red ass that we saw every other year when either they weren't playing well or they weren't being coached well or he didn't feel like they were performing up to snuff. I'm sure a new contract plays a part in that because then you can go take that trip and you know when you come back that your bag of money is still in the vault. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, he got $150 million <laughs> for three years, like fully, like all guaranteed. Yeah, like it's like there to your point, there is no like he's good. And and I think if there was any concern of like, hey, my I've got my my uh, predecessor wait, like sitting in the room with me. Right. Like, that's not the case anymore. Like, it doesn't like Jordan Love is no longer a threat to him. 
I mean, when he looks at him now, he's just like, yeah, he's, he's just you're here right now as insurance. Like, I own you. Go away. I yeah. own you. Discount, double check, oh, bitch. What, what's that? <laughs> what's the, what's the uh, <laughs> what's that song uh, you've referenced before, Brady? I'm not as good as I once. Nah, I'm was. not as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. I, like I, I was thinking about that because Rogers. And my once is better than you, Jordan Love. <laughs> yeah, he he made a throw to Alan Lazard on the sideline in a window that like only he can make or only a couple of guys in the world can make. But other than that, it's just underwhelming. I mean, the can, entire offense. Can we please still state that he is the reigning two-time MVP of the league? He's nowhere close to that. He's not no. playing. No, he's it, not. It, it, he's not. You know what, but, but, but to that point, I think that's what makes this even harder to watch is he's played at such a high level for the past two years that now you watch and you just go, man. Like, it, it is, it's hard to watch. Like, it, like we talked about kind of like, all right, Tom Brady's 45. Is this starting to see the decline? Like, I mean, Rodgers isn't that old, but I, I don't know that he plays out the rest of this contract. And, and he's already talked about, like, he doesn't know what's going to happen after this year. Like, he's stated that. And, and, and I can – I feel like you can almost see that when he's playing. He's kind of just like, Bump yeah, it. whatever. Yeah, <laughs> Bump it. Like, can can I also say this? Uh oh, tar- uh, 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 let's do the music again. Can no, 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 no. I think we, we got to do the music this again. This is not. This nope. is not a conspiracy. It doesn't even it's matter. It's not. Okay, it we'll play it anyways because it's great. It doesn't even matter. Let's hear what you guys say. Outside of the only quarterback <laughs> in the division, Rodgers is out playing is Justin Fields. Oh, uh, that, that's th- like if that's, just look, yeah, that's a true statement. Yeah, yeah, Goff crazy. and Kirk Cousins have been better than Aaron Rodgers <laughs> through the first right. month and a half of the season. You're right? I I don't know, man. Right. I, like, wh- how do you drop off that quick though? Like, here's my conspiracy theory: dirt Why, drugs. How do you drop off dirt from drugs. being a reigning MVP consecutively to where you are right now? Like, it, where did it go? It stayed on the other side of the journey. Like he, he took that person off and, uh, and became a shell yeah. of himself because he left that person there that people come to Green Bay to play with. The the, the hippie universe, all right. Has the taken the over. alien. It's they, one. They've now got two MVP trophies. So what with you're them. saying is they abducted the real Aaron Rodgers, yeah. and sent back this Aaron Rodgers yeah. that we have now. Yeah, he's basically just uh it's it's the physical being but the you know that dog in him, you know that, that MVP that dog, in him. Yeah. yeah, they kept that with him. They said, Dang. "Listen, now we'll let you into the club for free, but we need something, some sort of a gift if you could leave us behind." And he left behind his MVP. Yeah, and that's what we relax. Get. It just like really even bored. like, and then you see uh, Matt Lafleur call the team over and do this like huddle on the sideline and all that stuff, and it's like it just it it feels like he's at a loss, like he doesn't have any answers, and I just wonder. But that's one of those situations that we were talking about earlier. The same thing that's going on with Tom Brady. Like, does does Lafleur really have the weight to throw around to be like, hey, Aaron? Tighten the F up, bro. Well, I, you know? I think what's going to be interesting is whenever Aaron decides to hang it up, like that's when it's going to be like, all right, now now we get to see what kind of what kind of coach you are. Coach you I mean, right. Like, like that's the one thing you could say about Bill Belichick. And, and I, you know, I don't want to make too much of one game this past weekend or even the past couple of weeks, but, you know, they, they beat the Browns and the Detroit Lions handily they, by the way <laughs> by the way with a backup quarterback and you can make the case Bailey's really their third string because Hoyer was supposed to be the backup till he got knocked out and so a rookie in Bailey Zappi and I'm not trying to say like by the way Zappi like was a very prolific passer during the one season at Western Kentucky like he could do a lot of things Mac Jones can do I'm just saying if you look at what is working out right now in New England they look good, man. Like, like they're beating teams handily the way they should. It's a lot of scheme, a lot of X's and O's stuff, but you got to give them credit. Like, I, I don't know that we're going to feel the same way about Matt LaFleur when Aaron Rodgers moves on. You know what LaFleur should do? Second Rodgers retires, he He's should retire. take a TV job. Good-looking guy, go I'm right to here. TV. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm out of here. You know what? Deal. Aaron's out, I'm out. I want, I want more time with my family, and then just go take a TV job. Just get out. You know, let somebody else have the gig, and then uh, and then uh, all is well there in Green Bay. But yeah, it doesn't look good.